What is up, guys? It is your boy, Deafness45. It's been a minute since I've done any kind of uh, uploaded video. Been live. Took a little bit of a break uh, after Tuesday night's auction until uh, basically Saturday morning when I came back to the Blackjack stream. Hope everybody had a great week. Hope everybody is having an awesome, awesome weekend. Uh, I actually stopped by Three Star Sports Cards on Friday after work. I was out in the Bloomington area, and I stopped by Three Star Sports Cards just to kind of see what they had. They had, um, you know, they had the new Donruss basketball. They had a lot of that 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 stuff, but it's like a thousand dollars a box. I remember when Donruss basketball we were buying for, you know, one fifty or so. So I wasn't gonna. That's not something I'm going to spend a grand on. But what I did find, which was sitting there on the shelf, was a box of 2015 Topps Finest Football Hobby. This one I paid 150 It was 150 bucks on the shelf. There's a lot of great rookies in 2015. Uh, it says here, it's been a while since I ripped one of these many years. One autographed patch card and one autographed jumbo relic card per master box. So, guys, I mean, let's see what we can find out here. Let's see what we can pull in. I'm also going to be using the Rippin' Gypsy box cutter, courtesy of Rippin' for the Cure that just kicked off here just a couple nights ago this last week. So, my date for the Deafness 45 community, our auction, the money will raise. Majority of that will happen on the auction of March 30th. So Tuesday, March 30th. If you guys want to donate anything, direct to them. If you want to donate, donate anything to me for the auction, however you want to do it, I'll have links and stuff in the description below. If you guys want to do direct donations directly to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation, awesome. We did this last year. We almost hit 15K. They set the goal for 15K this year. We have so many more people on board and so many people that aren't even like listed that are going to be contributing and doing big things. And, and so again, shout out to each and every one of you guys for getting involved in this. There's too many to name right now because we have a way bigger team than we did last year. So I think we're going to hit 30K. Like I think a realistic goal in my eyes is 30K. 15K just seems too easy. I think we're already over 5K and it's only the first week. This will be kicking off for the next couple months. This will be going for the next couple months. So, guys, I'm going to get into it again. March 30th, Tuesday, will be uh, our main date of that week to do the auction and raise money. And, again, 100% of what we sell, 100% of what we make during that auction, we will donate. We, do a, we will do a stream. I'll show you the donation just like I did last year. We actually made two donations. We did two auctions last year. Um, so again, shout out to each and every one of you. You know, there's there's ways you can contribute. I always say this. There's ways you can contribute without having... Show the number just in case. Without having to... Uh, in case there's an issue or anything with the box. Ways you can contribute without actually... Um, you know, if you don't have the money to contribute or donate, that's not the that's not a problem. That's not the end of the world. There are ways you can get by that. You can share. You can the tweets through Twitter. You can share that. You can post links on other social media platforms. You can bring more awareness to more people. You never know who may come across. You never know who may jump on. You never know who who may be with a corporation or something that's like, hey. Uh, we would love to do this. Who knows? Could get match. I know Eric had a company last year that matched every dollar. So that almost 15k didn't include uh, their don match donation, I believe. So again, and it's huge. You know, we're doing this to try to find answers and find a cure for Crohn's and colitis. If you don't know much about it look into it if you're part of the hobby community you can reach out to people like uh k-dub kyle i actually i've interviewed him on an in-depth with deafness before and he actually t tells his story about it um he'll probably be posting his story again um on the site again i'll have all the links in the description below 
Guys, let's see what we can do. Let's crush that goal of 15K. And I honestly think we're going to hit 30. So we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Remember, this is 2015. 2015 Tops Finest. Demetrius Thomas or Demarius. Carlos Hyde. Jamison Crowder. This is a refractor of the hollow, whatever you want to call it. Man, these are such cool cards. Such cool cards. Look at this. Look at this. Tony Romo, the best, the best uh football accommodator. That's 25 of 25, guys. 25 of 25 of the Tony Romo. One time. It's gonna be just too much background stuff. So very, very cool. Very cool. Then we got a little JJ Watt. Uh, now in Arizona. Now in Arizona. Cardinal. For all those Arizona fans, I'm sure you're pumped about that. I think people thought he was either going to land in Buffalo. He was going to land in Green Bay, possibly. Randy Gregory, rookie. Le'Veon Bell. And, of course, it's going to be a bear. <laughs> It wouldn't be right with it wouldn't be fitting without uh doing breaking product and pulling a bear because you know my man uh Matt Ballsley is a Bears fan. So we always joke that I always pull the Bears so that he gets them. We don't have to even we already know where that's going, right? Uh and then we got uh Patrick Peterson. So First auto Langford, that Tony Romo die cut though to 25. 25 out of 25 is pretty tight. Thaddeus Davis. How about a Teddy Bridgewater? David Cobb, former gopher. Ooh, sick guys. This is not turning out to be such a bad box. Remember, 2015, like I said, is loaded with rookies. I love the jumbo. I love the the super jumbo prisms. You get four autos. Probably be picking up a box of that again pretty soon and doing another rip of that. How about a Stefan Diggs? Die cut rookie. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. How about that? Nice box so far. All right, we got an Andrew Luck. All right, we got a Matthew Stafford. EJ Yeldon rookie. Little Peyton Manning love. Uh, Cameron Artis Payne. This is going to be like the hollow rookie. Nothing too special, but... Then we got a Duke Johnson. I know my boy Balls. I think he, well, at least he used to. He used to PC Duke. There was a connection there. DJ yelled in. All right. Keep it going. Keep it coming. There will also be dropping another video here. Um, I got a mail day. See, here's another rookie. Here's another rookie you're going to find in this product. Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett rookie. Very nice. By Aaron Rodgers, base. Harriman. Oh, baby. Don't know what this has got. Don't know if there's any value. I don't even know if this has any. I mean, it's got to be worth something, right? How about an X-Fractor Tom Brady? 2015 Tops Finest. Got to open up a new pack of uh, top loaders here. For 150 bucks, when all the modern new product is 1,800 whatever, Cam Newton. We got a Harriman. We still got one more pack, and we still got the. Uh, we got one more pack, and we still got the other box. Romo base. How about a? What another Stefan Diggs base rookie tops finest 2015. Very nice box. 
How about a Randy Gregory number that's 16 of 99? A red? You know, uh, another die cut. <laughs> the guy who didn't uh, pan out so well. I don't even know if he's still in the uh, NFL or not. These die cuts are always tricky. That's a hollow rookie. I cut, and then we got a Ty Montgomery rookie. So we got Ty Montgomery in here as well. Not the biggest star, not the biggest name, but still nice. All right, guys. And then each box has, there's uh, six packs per mini box. So. Yeah, I'll be doing, uh, I'll be uploading, uh, there'll be another video that'll be uh, dropping here soon, too, of a uh, mail day. I got a couple things that showed up um, from, a, from a couple people, so I'll definitely share that with you. And then you're also going to want to uh, check, well, maybe not. Depends on, uh, depends on what you're all about, but uh, you may want to check out that... The next video that drops after watch this one there should be another one coming up within the next day or so so check it out what a calvin benjamin oh sickness guys oh that's just a hollow it's not a rookie but how about this next card how about this next card again i haven't looked at what values are in any of this top finest football stuff but i'm going to tell you that that's pretty nasty. Where might he be going? Russell Wilson, 2015. It's like an insert. Like the old... Thick, thick, hard. What a great box. Good old Brandon Marshall. Good old Brandon Marshall. What a great box for 150 bucks. Are you kidding me? I could rip this all day. Rip cases of this stuff. Luke Keekly. So we hit our jumbo auto. Is a sick. Three colors. Not biggest name, TJ Yeldon, but sick patch. Those Jaguar fans. RPA. All right. We got Alfred Morris, Jack Thompson, Jordy Nelson, another former Gopher, former U of M Ski Uma, Max Williams, die cut hollow, rookie. And uh, Revis still got three packs, guys. Trying to get through this, don't want this video to be too long. Julius Thomas, Jordan Matthews, how about a Mike Davis? Dude, uh, took over for McCaffrey most of the year this last year, had a huge year. It's a nice uh, rookie. Whatever you call them, hollows. Is I think what you would call them like you would in any other product. What a great box. Fawn Miller, Calvin Johnson. Shout out RSR. It was his birthday this past week on Monday. Not sure where what's going on with Vaughn Miller, but obviously in a lot of legal legal issues. I haven't really heard much. New, oh, another guy we got in here. We got a we got a bunch of rookies in here. We got Todd Gurley. That's a base rookie. We got a Mariota. Base rookie. Jeremy Hill, remember this dude? And nobody special. Tony Lippett, X Factor rookie. I don't know, whatever. And Danny Shelton. Go Browns. Go Browns fans. Wonder how they'll do this next year. Had a great season. Austin Hill. Man, 
again. I am definitely going to be buying more of this. Oh, I missed Eddie Lacy cheeseburger. Cheeseburger Eddie Lacy. How about a Mike Davis to 250 rookie blue? And this is box is loaded. Mike Davis. How about another Mike Davis die cut rookie? Thing is sick. Shout out Mike Davis. I wonder if he'll stick around in Carolina as the backup for McCaffrey or if he'll uh, go find his way somewhere else. League, sick. And then to top it off, those Pats, Edelman, my man, uh, Lance, my boy Lance. We got those base here. So let's just uh, take a breeze through this stuff here real quick. Some of this stuff top loaded. I'm not gonna go through all like the name base stuff, but we'll go through the highlights. The highlights real quick. So first off, we got the the two RPA or the yeah the two RPAs. We got the Lang Langford, three Langford going going to my man Balls, TJ Yeldon. Three color patch, rookie, RPA. Not the greatest, best things, but here's where here's where I think we did good. And I don't know. I'll have to check. I haven't looked at what comps on these. Like I said, don't know much about the values on the 2015 finest football product, but I'm going to check, be checking it out. We got the Stefan Diggs rookie die cut. We got the Tony Romo die cut 25 of 25. The Pulsar. Just sick. We got the Tom Brady, call it the X, X Fractor, I think is what they call those. Different people have different names. The Russell Wilson, Top's Finest, Blue. Mike Davis, Hollow Rookie. Mike Davis, Die Cut Rookie. And a Mike Davis, uh, Rookie to 250, Blue. So, guys, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite card. Would you now be interested in getting some of this product? Would you rip this product? Do you think that this was a value at $150? Yes, I paid $150 for this box of football cards. I wish they could bring Tops back. What's your thoughts? I think a lot of people would like to see football and Tops back. I know it's a license licensing thing, but bring back Tops football. We need it back. I love the box. I thought it was a fun rip. If you guys enjoyed it too, please leave a thumb up. Again, leave a comment down below. Favorite card? What you think about the product? What's, what's your thoughts on tops with football? Would you love to see it back or no? And then lastly, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Turn the notifications on so you know when I am live. And make sure you are on all so that you do get the notifications. And until next time, fam, keep moving forward. Keep the positive hobby. <laughs> keep the hobby positive. And I'll see you soon. I love you guys. Be good.